Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pack Your Suitcase with Paddington. Paddington comes to London all the way from Peru, with just one small leather suitcase packed with his most treasured possessions. If you were going on a journey like Paddington, what would you pack to remind you of home? This summer, from the 7th of June until the 16th of July, the British Library are asking children across the country to create and personalise their own paper suitcase and reveal what they'd pack inside to remind them of home or a special place using art, creative writing or collage. This new creative project for children is inspired by Paddington and powerful stories of journeys and new homes. To inspire children to take part, the British Library invited some brilliant authors and illustrators to make their own suitcases and show us what they'd pack if they were going on a journey. This suitcase is made by Jane Porter, who is in her attic studio surrounded by photos and paintings and a large white notice board covered in brightly coloured notes. The walls slope in and we glimpse a small window on the right. Pots of paintbrushes, pens and paper sit on the top of a filing cabinet and a framed sign saying Jane Porter in blue writing rests on a shelf behind her. Jane has dark framed glasses and blonde hair held back with a yellow and blue scarf, the ends of which droop over her shoulders. She wears a white shirt and a star-shaped pendant is glimpsed around her neck. Jane's suitcase is brown with stickers on the outside. It has a label saying JP in bold capitals, a gold lock and key, a blue and white Scottish flag, and a label saying, Handle carefully. I will tell you all about her suitcase as you watch. Hello, I'm Jane Porter and I'm a picture book author and illustrator and I've just finished making a little suitcase inspired by Paddington's suitcase. Jane holds up a small brown suitcase covered in stickers. So I've made it out of a cardboard box and I've put stickers on it showing places that I'd really like to go to. Japan, I've never been. And I thought I should put a sticker on for Peru to go and see where Paddington came from. I've added a little luggage tag and a little golden key and a keyhole to open my suitcase. And I've also put a Scottish flag on because I love going to Scotland. Do you want to see inside? Inside my suitcase I've put the sort of things that I'd like to have if I was far away to remind me of home. I've put in a jar of blackberry jam, a bit like Paddington's marmalade. I've bottled the smell of a river because that's something I really, really enjoy smelling. And I think I'd really miss it if I lived somewhere very hot put some of my favourite wildflowers and some oak leaves for a little bit of vegetation from home. And then in the other half of the suitcase, a little envelope for family photos. Actually a picture of my mum when she was little. And then I've imagined if I could put the sound of London in a tin. So if I was feeling homesick, I could just open that tin and I'd hear the rattle of the tube trains and I'd hear all the people chattering and talking in all sorts of different languages and I'd hear the beeping of the traffic and it would make me feel as if I was back home. I've also put in my fiddle because I enjoy playing the fiddle and that would be something that would be nice to do far from home. And then I've got a secret compartment. The picture of the fiddle lifts up like a flap. And in the secret compartment all my diaries. I never go anywhere without my diaries. Three diaries painted in shades of blue. Jane closes the flap. I'm going to show you how I made my suitcase and I hope it's going to inspire you to make one of your own. Jane started in a sketchbook with what's in my suitcase. Pictures of a fiddle, a cat, a perfume bottle, stickers and the secret flap. She cut up cardboard boxes to make two equal squares, rounded the corners and then got a pot of paint and painted the insides blue. She joined the pieces together with paper fasteners, cut out two handles and fastened them on the top. Opening it out, Jane adds some red tape to the edges of the suitcase to give a contrast and make it look neat. Jane now looks back at the notes in her sketchbook, choosing what to put in. 
She draws a large jar with a label saying jam, a perfume bottle with a stopper, a fiddle and bow, some wild flowers and a few oak leaves, and a tin can. She cuts them all out, paints them, then makes three tiny books by cutting up and folding pages from a notebook, paints them blue and hides them under the fiddle. Everything is stuck in, then the labels for the outside are drawn, cut out and painted, and finally the luggage tag, lock and key are added. Pens, scissors, paper, old photos and paint are scattered around the suitcase. The label wanted on the voyage is tied on with red ribbon, and Jane's suitcase is complete.